Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm trying out a new setup. I want to make it look more like a like a studio than uh, just simply you guys watching my face and a flag behind me. Uh, so let me know down in the comments what you think. I've been working on this setup for about a week. If it is your first time joining us on my videos, don't forget to like and subscribe and comment down below if you like the videos, you like what you're seeing, uh, you like Michigan. I get a lot of I get a lot of subscribers just because I'm from Michigan, which is kind of cool. But let's get into this video. I am going over one more holster. I've done a couple of holsters already. The holster I am going to be going over is one of my favorite companies, um, the Tier One Concealed Zyphus. Zyphos. Zyphus. I'll put it down below so you guys can see what the exact name is. I don't know how to pronounce it. It's such a weird name. It's very interesting in a way where they have these clips, but they are spread out as far as they can go on a standard holster. Uh, most holsters you guys see, it's either two clips right next to each other, or it is one big size clip kind of dead in the center of a standard holster. Um, so these clips are kind of spread out. They kind of went with the sidecar type of look because the sidecar, what makes those so comfortable is that uh, clips are really far apart. So it kind of evens out the weight on both sides. This is a really neat holster in a couple different ways. One was the clips that we just talked about. Um, the second one is they have levels on the claw. That you can take off so they have like little um what do they call these yeah i just call them levels they have little tiny levels on there if you unscrew them you can take off the level so you can make the claw bigger or smaller um, another cool feature they have is if you look really really close there i don't know if my lighting is going to allow this i'll do this on the tabletop but um you can easily move the claw up and down. It's kind of like a little track system that you can go up and down with. And I think that's actually really cool um, design. Let's go to the tabletop review. All right, so uh, a few of the things I was talking about already, it does, it does come with the standard clips. They are farther apart. Now, for some people, this can be a pro. For some people, this can be a con. Um, for me, this is a con because it is incredibly difficult to get on and off in your pants because you almost got to do both clips at the same time and finagle it in your pants at the same time. Either that or you're going to have to get this clip slightly on and then work this clip on and then push it all the way into your pants. It is very difficult to do. Now, the pro to the two clips wide like this is it doesn't move in your pants. It's, it stays in there. It doesn't move side to side like a single clip holster would do. Like this one likes to move side to side. This one does not do that. So if you're looking for a holster that doesn't move side to side, um, this is the one to go for. Next, here's that track system I was talking about. Um, you just unscrew these screws here let's see if i can find a screwdriver real quick demonstrate so you just unscrew it just a touch on both and you should be able to move this thing yep you can move this thing up and down that way now that that is not rust from the screws that is actually rust from my screwdriver let's see if i can get that on there that is actually rust from my screwdriver. That is not rust from the screws. So don't think that's rust from the actual holster because it's not. Um, here are the different plates or levels that I was talking about. You can unscrew these plates here. The screw. And then you can remove or add as many plates as you want i think it comes with three or four i can't remember three or four plates that you get you can run it bigger or smaller depending on how much you want to tuck into your body that 
is a really, really cool design. I do like that quite a bit. Um, that was very uh, intuitive for sure. Okay, so pros to this holster. Um, two clips that are farther apart. Um, these clips make it more sturdy inside of your pants. Okay, it's not going to fold back and forth. Uh, the track system is a pro. You can easily adjust it moving up and down without having to stick your finger in there and try to adjust. Um, anybody who's done this with a holster knows that you have to stick your finger in there for the back part and screw it, and it's a pain in the butt to move this piece um, if you're trying to adjust the height. So big pro on that part of the track system. Third really cool design is the plate system. I love that idea of making your claw bigger or smaller depending on your body size. It is nice that you can run a light on here. That can be a pro if you're somebody that loves running a weapon light on all of your firearms. You have a standardized holster that you can run a light with. Okay, so cons of this holster. For me, the cons of this holster is the clips. They are a pain in the butt. I like the idea, but they are a pain in the butt to get on and off. I want a holster that is this easy on, easy off. My second con is it is incredibly wide. Having a light on your firearm with a holster like this for me is a con. I, if I'm going to run something like this, I am not gonna run it with a light. If I am going to run something with a light, I am going to grab a bigger holster with a proper lighting system in it okay that is what i'm going to run if i'm going to run a light overall the quality is great i mean the attention to detail is there um, it is not a click retention and you get that a lot with flashlight type uh, weapon light type of holsters it's more of that friction retention there is no click there at all and let me take this light off real quick Just as an example of that, this is my Raptor holster from T-Rex Arms. You're gonna hear that click. Okay, if you really like that click, no weapon light is the way to go. I think most holsters that don't have weapon lights get that click. The Kydex is really nice. It's really, really well made, really well put together. I have absolutely no problem. The hardware is really nice. No problems there, it's just, your personal preference on what kind of holster you like. And you can make that decision for yourself. I am not here to make that decision for you. I am just giving you my personal experience with this holster. I've carried this holster for a few months. I can't stand it. Pers my personal opinion on this holster, I cannot stand it. There's too many cons. I should have gotten the one without the weapon light. I don't like the clips. This holster is just too wide. I've tried so many different variations, ride heights, everything, different plate levels. I've tried everything. Nothing works for my particular body type. Now there's other reviews out there of people that absolutely love this holster and so take that with a grain of salt. I am a bigger dude. This does not work for me uh, unfortunately and I am not dogging standard holsters. I do have a couple standard holsters like the T-Rex arms and the Vetter holsters that I do like because they are very minimal profile. The minimal profile is really what I'm looking for in a holster like this. Uh, just to wrap things up, I unfortunately cannot recommend this holster to um, anybody that's big like me out there. Like I said, take this review with a grain of salt. This, might, this holster might be great for you. Um, I am just trying to show some pros and cons to this holster on what I personally think about it. Um, keep in mind, I'm, I'm six foot three, I'm about 245 pounds, okay? I'm a big guy. So in particular, this light bearing variant of this holster just does not work for me. Um, I'm not saying this is a bad holster by any means. I am just giving you my two cents on my three months of carry with this holster. Um, I hope you all got something out of this review and I hope you can take this information where you can make your own decision on whether or not you want this type of holster. Remember to train hard, 
get strong, be a protector. If no one said they love you today, I love you guys. God bless you all.